that uh, yep. spoke to Ms. McCabe, I advised her that we were going to need to speak with the homeowners. She said that they were probably sleeping. I advised her that we were going to need to speak with them. And that's when I placed the call to the uh, CPAC unit. And prior to that, when you were on the scene, had you seen anyone uh, come in or go out of uh, residence on 34th Beverly Road? No. And so, uh, as far as sort of the other houses on uh, what kind of activity did you observe with reference to any uh, residents of those homes coming in or going out of their homes? I did not observe anybody come in or out of their homes. Uh, following your initial call to uh, the CBAC and communication process, uh, what is it that you did learn? Once that call was complete, uh, Sergeant Good and I observed that there was now a light on in the house of 34 Fairview and we made the decision to then go in and speak with the homeowner. And um, how was it that you sort of proceeded up to the scene? I believe, uh, I don't recall if we used the, I, be, I believe we used the driveway, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, you came into the home, uh, as far as this door that you, you entered? The main door, the front door. When you entered into the main door, what to describe to the jury sort of what you observed as far as what was before you from a layout. Uh, there was a staircase right in front of us, and to the right, it entered into like what appeared to be like a uh, dining area. And who, if anyone, did you, did you speak with 